to see tomorrow. That's what uh, this nation requires. And therefore, as I begin concluding, you know, preachers conclude many times. As I begin concluding, I will share with you only two things that I see in the qualities of Esther, and there are many qualities, but I will only share two uh, qualities that I do see on Queen Esther. Number one, she had a purpose in her heart. And I will explain to you. When you read the entire book of Esther, and I, I just need to quickly just summarize. When you read the entire book of Esther, you will realize Queen Vashti was there before. Queen Vashti was removed, Queen Esther came in. And, and we all read in, in chapter 2 how it was, you know, uh, the beauty contest and all this kind of thing and all this kind of thing. But the more I read about Esther in the book of Esther, I realized it was not a beauty contest. It was a machination by God himself because he knew Vashti did not have. Uh, the heart of her people in her heart. So she, uh, God raised a Queen Esther because he knew Queen Esther will rise up for her people when the day comes calling. When the enemies of the people of Israel, of the Jews, came, Queen Esther stood up for them. You and I have a purpose. Are we willing to stand up in the purpose that God has given unto us? And the second thing, Queen Esther was willing to pay a price. She was willing to pay a price. And when you read Esther, chapter number 4, verse 16, initially she was scared. Like we are all scared many times. Should I take it up? Should I not take it up? And she was told, and she said, Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan. And fast you for me and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise and uh, I will go in unto the king which is not according to the law. If I perish, I perish. In the laws of the land at that time, you are not uh, allowed to see the king unless the king had allowed you to go and see the king. Unless he had sent for you, you could not go and see the king. Otherwise, your head could be chopped off. So she told her mentor, Mordecai, Mordecai, how can I go? My, my neck will be chopped off. I'm paraphrasing. If I go, I will be killed. Mordecai told her, it is the nation that you will be saving. It's not about you, it's about the nation. And therefore, she made up her mind and she said, I will do it. I am willing to pay the price. Today, we all make decisions, but the decisions that we make, if you are given today an assignment, are you willing to pay the price for that assignment? That's the point. It's not about getting a job. It's not about getting that opportunity. And we are all waiting to be given that opportunity, right? Are we not all waiting to be given that opportunity? We are all waiting to be appointed, to be told you are the man or you are the woman. Are we not all waiting? Isn't it? But are you willing to pay the price for leadership? <laughs> That's the question is. We are all seated at the cusp 
of history. One person will be appointed, isn't it? But are you willing? Can you pay the price for your people? That is the point. And the person who is given that opportunity has within themselves that ability and the price they can be able to pay for that. They will not be saying, no, we do not agree like this. So, and all of us, therefore, we then support that person who has been given that opportunity, the Queen Esther. And I re remember I have told you it's not about gender, right? And all of us then support that particular person. So, as leaders, and I know we, I'm speaking to all leaders here, we pay a price. We must be willing to pay a price. All of us have been given a chance by God to live. And we live only once. And that once that we live, we must make an impact in our society. We must make sure that we must touch the agricultural sector and make sure our people, 40% of our workforce, are, ele are elevated. We must make sure we enter into the finance industry and make sure that the finance industry is also doing better. We need to make sure that Kenya rises again. And we preachers, we support you. And we pray for you. And we urge you on. And we pray that the strength of God will always be with you. So the two things I have told you. Do you have the purpose of God in your heart? Every one of us has a purpose. And if the purpose of God for you, it is for you to be the second in command in the next coming uh, government, then let it be. And everybody else must support them. But the second thing, are you therefore willing to pay the price? Yes. Because Kenya must rise again. We must make an impact everywhere we are. And each and every one of us must look at every areas that God has given unto us. And make sure we make it a better place. That the day will exit from the earth. We have made an impact. Are we together? You must make up your mind. Decide today. That I'm not looking. It's not that I'm looking for a job. I am looking to make an impact. Are we together? We must look to make an impact. As I finish, this is really the final closing. I told you preachers uh, finalize many times, but this is really the final. When you look at a man like Daniel in the Bible who was still living in that time, day and age, was raised when he was a young man. He made an impact in the entire kingdom of Babylon. Until the kingdom of the Middle Persians. He made an impact in two kingdoms. <laughs> he had such an impact that even the king of those days could do nothing until he has consulted him. And if he did something that was contrary, the particular king was smitten by God. And you can remember the story of Babylon. Daniel was also a man of purpose. He lived to a good old age, right from age 16 to a good old age in his 90s as a leader. He affected every area. And you, you know what I realized is that Daniel, your excellency, was a scientist. That's what I realized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a scientist. You, you can read uh, Daniel chapter 1. You can also make an impact. Wherever you are. <laughs> so you must know where your area is, isn't it? And once you know, decide to make an impact. And I'm so grateful to God that today I'm in the presence of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya and other leaders 
party leaders. I appreciate that. We can make an impact. We must know that purpose and we must be willing to pay the price. And therefore, with those few remarks, I just want to kindly request you to stand up and we will make a prayer. And I want to give you that opportunity first to pray for yourselves. For a minute. Just pray for yourself. Search your heart. Ask the Lord, what is my purpose? Am I willing to pay the price for the purpose that God you have given unto me? Am I willing to pay that price? Ask yourself. Pray to God, God, make it clear to me. Make the vision clear to me that I may run with that vision. That I may pay the price for what you have given unto me. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, O oh God. And we give you praise for this wonderful opportunity that you have given unto us, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for every leader in this place, O oh God. And thank you, O oh God, because you are the one who chooses leaders for us, O oh God. And therefore, we thank you for the leaders that you have given unto us, O oh God. We commit each and every one of us here today and ask you in the name of Jesus, the Lord, you may help us, O oh God, in the purpose that you have given each and every one of us, O oh God. We pray in the name of Jesus. Help us, O oh God, to pay the price for that particular purpose that you have given unto us. If unto the nation we pray, O oh God, that with whatever area it is, my God, may we make this Kenya to be different, to be great, to be wonderful, to be a wonderful place to be, O oh God. So that when they are looking at the happiness index, Many years to come, they will say, Kenya is one of the a country with the happiest people. Let things begin to change, oh God. Give us leaders, we pray, oh God. Bless the leaders for us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, and we pray, may they arise and may they shine in the name of Jesus. Master, we pray for our deputy president, oh God. We ask for the strength of God upon him in the name of Jesus and his family. We ask you in the name of Jesus as he begins to arise and move forward in all majesty, O God, and strength. That the wisdom of God, the strength of God will always be with him. That the hand of God will always protect him and may you keep him and his family. May you go before them, be their rear God, be a wall of fire round about them, above is your glory underneath of your, everla your everlasting arms, O oh God. Be a shield above them, their glory, be the lifter up of their heads. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may you be with them. May you strengthen them, O oh God, uphold them, O oh God, with your righteous right hand, Abba Father. We thank you for your servant, O oh God, and we ask you in the name of Jesus, may you help him each and every moment in the name of Jesus. We give you praise and we give you honor for every one other leader here today. Lord, we pray for them, O oh God, and we pray may you strengthen each and every one of them as well. May they arise in strength, O oh God. Let each and every one of us here arise in strength in the name of Jesus and move forth in power in the name of Jesus. May you bless the work of their hands, O oh God, as they move to do what they are doing and to continue doing what they are doing. My God, may you remember them to bless them and to bless the work of their hands, Father. So my master this day, we give you thanks. Today, we honor you. And this day, and I thank you today, O oh God, for this great service, this wonderful service, O oh God. And we honor you today. For we pray this trusting and believing in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. I think at this moment, I will just invite Her Excellency to just come and continue from here. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Minister Herbert. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you for that uh, wonderful message. We are blessed this morning, and I don't wish to add more. Uh, if it was a normal church service, we would be asking for an offering, but I think today we'll not ask for an offering. And so I think we've come to the end of our service, but before we go, I don't know whether Mweshmiwa uh, Murkomen is here. Okay, because I wanted to ask one of the members of parliament or senate to at least come and conclude for us with a word of prayer. Anybody? Thank you so much, Karibu. So we'll do our last prayer, intercessory prayer. Mushimu, I would ask you just to do an intercessory prayer. Please come uh, and uh, just pray for the different things as the Lord leads you and then lead us in the words of grace, and we will be done. Thank you so much. God bless you. Shall we pray? Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for allows, allowing us this morning to sit at your feet and to hear a word. We thank you, dear Lord, that on this special day, you've reminded us of our particular role, like Esther in Shushan Citadel. And we just want to thank you, Father. And I pray the words that we have heard will be useful and will be a blessing to our lives moving forward. Father, I just want to thank you and want to pray for different needs and different concerns for our people. I want to pray particularly for Kenya this morning as they wait, as they become anxious, as they look forward, and as they pray to you, O oh Lord, waiting to know who, what the leadership of this country will look like. And I just want to pray, Father, this morning that even as the, uh, the scenario unfolds, that God, you give them peace, that God, you bless them to give them the understanding and the peace of whatever decisions that are going to be made. I want to pray for our Deputy President this morning with the difficult task of having to make pronouncements that will give them the clarity of mind, that you lift them up. And Father, this morning, that this nation will listen to, to him and hear from you, O oh Lord. This is our prayer. Father, as we part ways, we pray that you dismiss us with your blessing, and when we meet again, it will be another time to give you glory and honor. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning. Praise the Lord. I think we are blessed today. Um, my name is Nixon Korir. I'm the area MP. Uh, I am blessed to be the area MP of actually all these leaders who are here, our bosses. So I think uh, we are done with the church. I want to request all members to stay behind as uh, we let uh, our party leaders exit until uh, we get some communication later on. Thank you very much. Let's stay behind.